hello. Uh, taking time out from watching Rick and Morty, and I thought it'd just be worth making this about uh, ancient rope te making techniques. Now, I'll, I'll put all these links in the description. So there's a good video here by uh, Lindy Beige, very interesting channel. Um, covers a lot of uh, historical topics, uh, typically towards the um, military, but it goes through the medieval period way back into well, ancient times. And it's a really cool video, Medieval Rope Making in Visby Market, where they well, literally makes a piece of rope. And he also touches on uh, how ancient Egyptian rope making techniques. So again, all these links will be in the description. Uh, same with this um, the rope walk and well, medieval rope makers. Now, how important is rope? Well, you can't underestimate it. So whether it's from uh, shipping, construction, making boats as well, and we'll have a look at that in a moment. There's just there's no aspect of life where rope uh, isn't useful and very important, and it's actually a very ancient uh, skill. But also, rope's great, but there's also the skill of tying rope and tying knots. So, for instance, maybe if, if you've seen Jaws and the importance of being able to tie a shank, uh, so for sailing. Uh, but if you know your rope and if you know your rope tying knot tying techniques, you can uh, you can make brilliant machines out of a single piece of rope. I uh, recently been straw manned. I often talk about pulleys and how this very simple, very ancient technology. Um, yeah, and been white wizards trying to be straw man me. Uh, you don't need an iron pulley, buddy. You don't. I never once said you need iron pulleys. And you can do this with copper. You can do it with bronze. You can do it with timber, and you can do it with a single piece of rope. And this is a, a brilliant technique. This this type of stuff could almost save your life if you know about it. And well, you know. Straw man. Um, so again, if you just do a search, you know, ancient rope te making technique, we'll have a look at some of these because it is very ancient. Now, this famous uh, artifact in Egypt, there's even been some suggestion because it could be used for uh, rope making as well. So that's one possible explanation. I'm not saying it is, but that is one possible explanation for this artifact. And certainly the Egyptians did make and use rope. There's no, no doubt about um, that at all. Uh, where are we now? Again, for you know, ship making now you can. Uh, well, it's the, the the usage and the importance of an understanding of how to use rope. Again, you can't underestimate it. And again, all these links uh, to these sites and the videos will be in the description. But uh, so rope is just fibre that's been turned into string, and then the string is uh, braided together, and then to make a fin rope, and then you braid together the thick uh, those pieces to make a, a thicker rope and so you can make very simply with you know all sorts of fiber including uh, uh, you can for instance in South America they make these rope bridges and they just get together they cut grass and then they just uh, twist it together in their hands and then they braid that together and they braid that together and they make rope and so you can you can make very thick very strong rope so again this argument sort of that you know rope can't support the you know stone make, uh, lifting making techniques it's just not it's just bogus and all you got to do is you get a, a thinner rope you braid it together you get a bigger rope it's just it's really simple now how old is rope well this is a, a forty thousand year old artifact in uh, rope making tool again these links will be uh, in the description again there's just the, whether it's hunting construction. Uh, making fences for livestock, it, it just limitless uh, value to making rope. And it's even, uh, there's an article here, they don't have to, but they found a, a Neanderthal um, string. But when it also comes to rope making, so back to Egypt, the famous solar boat uh, found there next to the uh, Great Pyramid. And So there we see even even been like older, very ancient boats there have been found and they were using rope to tie their boats together. And this was a technique that carried through, you know, uh, throughout time, even amongst they found, you know, lots and lots of quality rope there. And even the ability to, uh, well, to, to make trusses and, and to strengthen and and again uh, if you understand your knots and application you can even make a pulley system from a single piece of rope uh, be, uh, probably be worth mentioning the uh, okay anyway 
So again, those links will be in the description. This is the ancient Egyptian rope, how it's important for every sort of aspect. Um, now, again, another Lindy Beige video, uh, the Siberian hitch and how this was rediscovered. Uh, um, uh, anthropologists spent some time with uh, 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 Siberian um, locals and and this very, very simple but very useful, not a quick release uh, hitch as well. So not tying technology or uh, knowledge as, as uh, we've, we've been losing it. And that's just one of these things. So with a very simple tool, if you know how to use it with some you know, uh, well-earned knowledge, you can do amazing things with it. Now, for instance, like when uh, we, the trucker's hitch, for instance. Now, if, when you see, you know, if you're not familiar, when you see the uh, truckies and they tie down their load with a piece of rope, it's not just a simple knot. They're they're using the trucker's hitch, which is a, a it's a compound pulley system, and you can with that piece of rope and you tie the knot properly and you pull on the knot, you can apply several times your own force to that rope, and that's how large heavy loads one trucky can just pull on the rope. And again, I'll put these uh, because this is a very useful skill. Uh, you can uh, so the truckers will use it to to tie down their load, and again there'll be another one. Uh, but you can also apply the trucker's hitch to lifting and turn it into a um, into a compound pulley system. And okay, so ancient rope, ancient rope, uh, Egyptian, and this again. Uh, oh, sorry, the Gordian knot. Now, the, if you're familiar with oh, Alexander the Great, if you look up the Gordian knot as well. So again, uh, knot tying knowledge is very important or what was now we have ratchets and and um, synthetic slings and we sort of lost lost the art now it's a again if you're you know, if your car gets bogged with a piece of rope one person can actually pull the you, you know if you apply if you make a trucker's hitch and you can pull your car out of a bog um, uh, army engineers, for instance, will use the same method. Of course, they'll probably use a wire rope or a synthetic rope. They can pull with a, a small jeep, can pull a large uh, M1 Abrams, those large battle tanks, and they get bogged. A, a jeep using rope tying technology, using a trucker's using a trucker's hitch and snap blocks, can pull these very very heavy tanks out of a bog so not just is the tank heavy but when you get when your car gets bogged in the mud there's a suction there huge forces and so again one person can pull a car with a trucker's hitch and if you hook up the uh, make this uh, type of knot you can even pull a battle tank out of the mud it's not just a, it's it, it could be life-saving in some case well in fact it has been life-saving in many cases knowing how to tie the proper knot and how to use it as well you can turn it a rope isn't, yeah, it's much more potential in a single piece of rope than what is uh, apparent for most people. And again, you can, so the trucker's hitch, which is used to tie down a load, such as here, can also be turned into a compound pulley system. And if you tie a double, if you create another loop, feed the rope around and have another loop on top, you have a double hitch, and that gives you double the uh, power. If you do another loop, you get uh, double the power again. It's a compound pulley system. Iron pulleys are not nece uh, not necessary at all. I've never said that. And well, straw man, and uh, but it's necessary for some. So again, this is this ancient uh, rope making tool. And also, so in the temple of uh, sorry, the tomb of T, we even have these uh, rope making. There's a few uh, Egyptian pictures. Again, they'll be in the Lindy Beige video, Medieval Rope Making, where he shows some uh, ancient Egyptian um, rope making techniques. And if you, interesting how if you compare this technique here to a uh, historic photo, 1916, I think it was again. So this is a, in a very simple way, but with, uh, uh, well, if you set up a jig, you can again now do a rope walk and make really long, really, really long strands of rope. This is, uh, for instance, Lewis and Clark on their expedition, they ran out of rope and they had to make rope on on the fly and they did it with a very similar technique uh, here as well. So this isn't, you know, the, the Egyptians that, that everywhere else, they would have had a craft, uh, like a, uh, a shop, uh, you know, a little factory to set up rope. This is like, you know, again, 
if you're, you know you need a rope you're on, you're, and your boat's broken, bang, here you got it. And you can do it with papyrus, you can do it with grass, you can do it with any sort of fibre. And that's just one of the methods to uh, do it. So all these links will be in the description. And again, it's if you especially if a truck, you really should have this in your arsenal, uh, knowing how to tie a trucker's hitch. Not only to tie things down, but you can also lift with this and you don't need iron pulleys. You can do it with timber, copper, bronze, or even just a single strand of rope in itself. So again, there'll be a bunch of links in the description. It's an ancient knowledge and it can be applied and it can be turned into what might be described, well, what's sometimes described as anti-gravity technique. And it's not at all. It's not at all. Anyway, with that, have a good one. Study, study. Uh, truth shall set you free.